Hello. Welcome to today's program. We're going to look at how to make dates and arrangements on the phone. We'll also have a close look at how we talk about things we're in the middle of doing. But first, let's continue our drama, Sisters and Brothers. Remember Sarah's brother Steve? It did seem that he quite liked Anne. Now, he's going to make a phone call. Medina Hotel Marie speaking. How may I help you? Can I speak to Ms. Anne Lee, please? I'm not sure what room she's in. I'll put you through, sir. Hello. Hello, Anne. This is Steve Parker. Steve Parker? Steve. Sarah's brother. We met. Oh, Steve. Hello, Steve. <laughs> Hi. What are you doing? Oh, working. I'm planning a trip to the wineries later in the week. Ah, oh, when are you going? Uh, Wednesday. Oh, good. What are you doing tomorrow? Um, nothing. Why? Well, I have the day off and I was just wondering. Well, I, I was just wondering whether you want to go to a wildlife park with me. You said you'd like to go to the zoo? That's right, I did. Yes, thank you, Steve. I'd love to go. All right. I'll meet you in the foyer. Ten o'clock? OK, ten. I'll see you then. Great. Uh, good night, Anne. Good night, Steve. Let's have another look at how Steve made that date with Anne. First, he has to ring the hotel. Medina Hotel Marie speaking. How may I help you? Can I speak to Ms. Anne Lee, please? Steve says, Could I speak to Ms. Anne Lee, please? He's being polite. We use the word could like this when we ask someone to do something for us. It's a question. So he says, Could before I. Could I. Try saying, Could I with the clip. Can I speak to Ms. Anne Lee, please? He says, Please. Asking someone to do something is a type of question called a request. We use please to make a request polite. Steve's request works and the receptionist puts him through to Anne. Hello. Hello Anne. This is Steve Parker. Steve Parker. Sometimes just the way we say names or single words make questions. When Steve says, Anne, he means, are you Anne? Listen first, and then say it with Steve. Hello. Hello, Anne. This is Steve Parker. Hello. Now listen to the way that Anne says Steve's name. Hello. Hello, Anne. This is Steve Parker. Steve Parker? She means, who is Steve Parker? Listen once more and then say it with her. Hello, Anne. This is Steve Parker. Steve Parker? Hello, Anne. This is Steve Parker. Of course, Anne realises who Steve is and they start to talk. Hi, what are you doing? Oh, working. I'm planning a trip to the wineries later in the week. We've looked at the words called verbs before and how we change the way we say them to show when something is happening. We call these changes tenses. Today, we're going to look at how to talk about actions that are happening now and for a short time into the future. In our next clip, listen to the way Steve and Anne say the verbs do, work and plan. Hi, what are you doing? Oh, working. I'm planning a trip to the wineries later in the week. Doing. 
working and planning. Notice that when a word ends with a single vowel next to a single consonant, the consonant is written again or doubled when we add ing. The ing form of verbs is used for talking about things happening now and for a short time into the future. This tense is called the present continuous because it refers to the present as something that continues or keeps going. Let's look at doing first. Hi, what are you doing? Steve is asking about what Anne is doing at that moment and for a short time into the future. So what's Anne doing? Say it with her. Oh, working. I'm planning a trip to the wineries later in the week. Work and plan are verbs of action. They are things we do. Only these sorts of verbs have continuous tenses. Some verbs, such as understand and know, are not used with the ing form of the present continuous. You can say, I am working. This means that you are working now and for a short time into the future. But you can't say, I am knowing. Instead, you say, I know. Let's see what Michelle's doing. I'll ring her up. Hello, Michelle Croton speaking. Hello, Michelle. This is Brenton. Hello. What are you ringing me for? Well, I just want to know what you're doing tomorrow. I'm doing some shopping. Why? I'm having a barbecue with a few friends and I'd like you to come. You've left it very late to ask me, but yes, I'll come. Uh, what's the address? 23 Curry Street. What time shall I come? About one o'clock. All right. I'll see you then. I'll ring if I'm going to be late. What's your phone number? 83662279. Okay. See you later. Now, how did Brenton say this number? He said 8366279. When we have two of the same letters or numbers together like these two sixes, we describe them as double six. Remember the word planning? That has a double N. Now try to say this phone number. We would tell someone that this number is 82771122. I'd better phone Brenton. 82771122. Medina Hotel Marie speaking, how may I help you? Oh, sorry, I dialed the wrong number. Sorry. The clerk said the place where she works, the Medina Hotel, and then Marie speaking. When taking phone calls for a business, it's best to say what the name of the business is, so the person knows if they've got the right number. Speaking is another example of the present continuous. Marie spoke and kept speaking into the future. I think we should hear that again. I'll use the redial button. Medina Hotel Marie speaking, how may I help you? How may I help you? This is a formal way of asking, how can I help you? It's a high class hotel. Remember that we say can or may before I in questions. Now I should ring Brenton. Tell me the number while I dial so I don't get it wrong again. 8366279. Thanks.
Hello. Hello, Brenton. Oh, hello, Michelle. Brenton, about your barbecue. Yes. Can I bring a friend? Oh, of course you can, Michelle. Oh, I forgot to ask earlier. Could you bring a bottle of wine? Yes, I could do that. And could you show our viewers the part of the story where Steve arranges when to meet Anne? Yes, I'll do that. See you later. See you. Here it is. I'll meet you in the foyer. Ten o'clock? OK, ten. Steve used the way he said ten o'clock to make it a question. It's quicker to say than, is ten o'clock a good time? Listen once more and then say, ten o'clock with Steve. I'll meet you in the foyer. Ten o'clock? OK, ten. I'll meet you in the foyer. OK, ten. And now here is Michelle in person. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Brenton. Let's go over what we've learnt today. We learnt some things about making phone calls. We learnt that you can ask a question by the way you speak a word. Really? Yes, really. And we found out one of the uses for the ing form of verbs, the present continuous. And about phone numbers. And how to ask some very common questions. Let's review them. Say them after us. Could I speak to Ms Anne Lee, please? What are you doing? What's the address? What time shall I come? What's your phone number? In our next episode, we're going to look at the many common words that are said together so often that they become one word. Until next time, see you later. Now it's time to show you today's episode of our drama again. Goodbye. Medina Hotel Marie speaking. How may I help you? Can I speak to Ms. Anne Lee, please? I'm not sure what room she's in. I'll put you through, sir. Hello. Hello, Anne. This is Steve Parker. Steve Parker? Steve. Sarah's brother. We met. Oh, Steve. Hello, Steve. <laughs> Hi. What are you doing? Oh, working. I'm planning a trip to the wineries later in the week. Ah, oh, when are you going? Uh, Wednesday. Oh, good. What are you doing tomorrow? Um, nothing. Why? Well, I have the day off and I was just wondering. Well, I, I was just wondering whether you want to go to a wildlife park with me. You said you'd like to go to the zoo? That's right, I did. Yes, thank you, Steve. I'd love to go. All right. I'll meet you in the foyer. Ten o'clock? OK, ten. I'll see you then. Great. Good night, Anne. Good night, Steve.